When .NET originally came out, and we had these concepts of assemblies and that there was metadata in the assemblies, I remember scratching my head thinking, why is everyone so excited about this metadata? And I think it's just because I hadn't been through enough pain to really appreciate the data that's in an assembly. And, and I, I, I want to help you feel the pain that our forefather programmers went through uh, and, and why this is actually really neat that all this data is inside of our assemblies. You can see here, I have a farm, I have a cow, a donkey, and various data types. Okay, class, struct, these are all native to .NET, and I have the best uh, class type here of all. I'm going to save this, and again, I have this file saved to me, C Sharp Code. You can see it's the only file in there, and I, I want to make an assembly out of this, a an assembly I can reference. So let's do C sharp compiler. Please make a library which will spit out a DLL file and I showed you in the previous video. The difference between a DLL and an AXE is simply a, an entry point. Other than that, there are assemblies and we can reference them. And the target in, oh wait, let's do a library here. Or an, we need an output file. I'm gonna call it me farm.dll and then the input file will be main class dot cs. Execute that Clear the screen, list the contents there. There we go. There's our DLL with all this code in there, and we can reference it and do neat things with it. Let me, let me just, let's ildasm it, just like we've done with previous ones. I'll call it moo.txt, and it's me farm.dll. And then let's look at moo.txt, and look at all this. Most of this is data. And if you go back to the attributes and reflection, videos, you don't, you don't know, everything that starts with a dot is data, meaning can't execute it, and it just sits there and does nothing until somebody looks at it. So data, 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 do you see any code? I haven't even seen code yet. Here, here's data, and here's data, and, and uh, oh, here's data, here's, da oh, finally some code down here, how nice, and, oh, more data, right, more data, and data, 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 in fact, here's some code down here, and that's the end of the file, okay, let me, is this notepad's too high, let me, there you go. End of the file down here. Not very much code in this in this assembly here, but but the data is important because it says, hey, you know what? If you reference me, then I have a class inside of me. It's called farm. It inherits from object. And if you invoke the constructor, this is the code you will run, and that sort of thing. And then what's this? This is the cow. It extends value type, meaning it's a it's a value type. You can go watch the value type videos if you want to. And, ooh, a donkey! It's a delegate! And here's a bunch of generated stuff we've talked about in the delegates videos. And, and ooh, chicken! It's an enum! And here's some enum values. Looks like I have eggs here. It's default to zero. You can watch the enum videos on that if you want. Anyway, and then bacon. Lots of data. Okay, but it's cool because if I reference this DLL for my project, in fact, let me just start over here. Static void main. I'm going to go over here and say add reference. You can see me farm chilling right here. We just added a reference to me farm assembly. Notice the .dll all kind of drops off because .net doesn't care about the file extension. It just cares that it's an assembly. We've seen referencing exes and dlls, I think, in the video prior to this one or a few videos prior to that. But now that I've referenced that assembly, watch. Cow. Look, I get the IntelliSense port support. Cow new cow. Farm farm, gets new farm, and then when I build this, the compiler can verify, yes, okay, we're referencing an assembly, it has a farm, it does have a constructor, the constructor takes no parameters, totally legit, you can do all this, and oh, cow, same thing, and yada, 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 but I can't say like cower, right, cower, if I build that, the compiler just turns around and say, I don't know where cower, I looked through all these referenced assemblies over here, look at all these assemblies we're referencing, I looked through all those assemblies, I can't find this type. All right. Well, how does the compiler know that there, there is a, there's a cow though? A cow's totally legit. Well, just looks at the metadata, saying, "Hey, um, let's see. I'm sure there's a. Let's look through here. Ooh, a cow. All right, then we can instantiate a cow. Now you're probably thinking, Jamie, wow, you're really making a big deal of nothing here. And to be honest, I probably am. But the number of times I've had developers come to me and say, oh, Microsoft's doing this really cool latest and greatest. Oh, Jamie, I can't live without that. Oh, it's so awesome. Man, if I had a dollar for every time I heard that, I'd be going on a very nice vacation. And so what's, what's the big whoop? Well, a little over a decade ago, maybe a little longer than a decade ago, but not too much further past a decade, maybe about 15 years, without C-sharp.net existing, 
Being able to reference assemblies like this and get IntelliSense support in the compiler to verify that that's legitimate code we're writing, that kind of thing, that was hard to do. Right? And it's because of the native way that we build executables and such and for the CPU. Compilers were built to, to make native instructions, not these abstract instructions, the stuff I've been showing you in here. This is very abstract. The CPU can't execute. The CPU won't make any sense of it. I've talked about just-in-time compiling and having to take that down to the actual level that the CPU can understand. So having these single file assemblies, we we saw that we made me farm and it has all that data in that that's a big deal back in the day a little over a decade ago when this concept first came out that's what programmers were screaming about They're like oh it's so awesome just one file it works exactly how we think it should work why didn't they do this earlier this makes complete sense it's the same reason whenever <laughs> when whenever a, a technology comes out that does things the way it should be done then we all freak out like, oh, so awesome! And I kind of just sit there and say, well, why didn't they do that in the first place? All right, well, I want to show you why they didn't do that and do it that way in the first place. And I'll do that in the next video. But it's going to require just looking at a little bit of C++. We're going to make a, a DLL in C++. We're going to reference it and that sort of thing. I'm going to show you the pain that we have to go through in C++ and the pain that programmers were going through about 15 years ago. And then when assemblies came on the scene, it was like, oh, it's so awesome. Whereas now we say big whoop.